Hi guys, how are you? Today is a Thursday and uh, um, I just want to give you a heads up. This video is some of you might find it's a little bit negative. I always think there's always two sides of every single uh, situation and then the negative and the positive should both be acknowledged and without acknowledging the negative the positivity that we have is not true positivity because there might be no acceptance in the negativity yet I hope I'm making sense anyway so initially I plan to make a video today and then um, I couldn't make it happen because um, earlier today I was working on a lot of the promotional stuff for my film and then later I find out there is a virtual meetup event for uh, Paris International Film Festival where my film is screening right now virtually and I decide to go in there to join them because I always find that's the most beneficial thing to do when you go to a film festival is to actually talk to the other filmmakers, the people who behind the festival and then as well as the people who actually are uh, creating those projects. Uh, I spent uh, totally four hours there and after that I work on more video editing and um, Photoshop for my film and it's already five o'clock guys um, so I decide to talk to you basically want to have this reality check with you um, the truth is I have been super burnout for a long time I think it's since last year uh, March around Sydney Quest and uh, I went full in to meet people promote my film at the same time keep my day job and running social media um, I never feel there was much of moments that I wasn't really thinking even the word time I reserve for myself to write or read I still feel extremely uh, exhausted I think a part of the reason is I don't have those empty space to completely do nothing there were a couple times I reserved a couple, one or two days for myself to completely unplug I actually went to uh, Big Bear Lake for a weekend to as a getaway and it only helped for three four days and I went straight back into the burnout loop um, I think to avoid burnout it should be something you maintain daily and I wasn't really good at doing that um, I think a main reason there was two reason first I'm not the queen of productivity so I do not want to portray myself as somebody who can have a day job making movie uh, write and uh, keep YouTube channel and also trying to promote and distribute movie that's just um, unrealistic and um, I have been managing all of those things in a very unproductive way because of my burnout because I, I'm not good at picking things to delegate nor have enough um, budget to delegate I don't even sure it's I don't have the budget to delegate or it's I don't have that kind of mindset or to <laughs> my hair um, I don't have that kind of mindset or too scared to um, spend money to delegate things so yes there are things I ask people help to do and pay for it um, but I still try to put most of stuff on my own shoulder and then that's not healthy <laughs> and I'm still in the process of figuring it out and I also I feel time management is nonsense uh, the most important thing should be energy management and I'm extremely <laughs> not good at it that one um, I always have a hard time to pick priorities even I know my priority is my film 
uh, it's to make money, but at the same time making YouTube. And then write your screenplay. You see how my brain just have so many flooded things I want to do. I'm very excited and interested in, and、um, that caused me want to basically create, and then have everything, and then that held me back to not. Be able to fully engage with anything. At least that's really how I'm currently feel. Of course, even somebody who is extremely good at time management or、um, energy management, it's just too many things to do. <laughs> it's just there's、um, too many, too many decisions to make, too many work dif- in different sides. And when you keep shifting your attention between things, that causes a lot of、um, anxiety and then make you stress out.、Uh, so even there are times that I saved for myself to read. For example, if my day job is、um, five o'clock in the morning, usually I will arrive、uh, my workplace at four thirty, and then.、Um, I will have a half hour drink coffee and、uh, read a little bit, and I also trying to read between my lunch break and、um, any time when I have a gap, I trying to pull out books、um, to read. Almost feel that's like the special time I I reserve for myself, but at the same time, because of the burnout, because the restless feeling, it doesn't make the reading. Process very enjoyable. I hope I'm making sense. So basically, even when I'm reading or I'm watching a movie, there was always information process being in, in the background of my head about what needs to get done, what I could do, or you know, just lots of things piling up, causing the stress. There sometimes I completely put down some task, decide to not do them. And delete them from my list, and、uh, that only helps for a couple hours. So I think this whole thing is all about mindset, and、uh, I'm definitely not there. <laughs> I'm not trying to make this video to complain, but I、um, just trying to have this kind of discussion. Um, here with、uh, you guys,、uh, with this community, because sometimes when I look at other people who seems done it all, I don't know how they did it. It's a similar effect to like when you go to a film festival and then you see all the filmmakers、um, be able to fly. To the location attending film festival, be able to make a movie, be able to、uh, participate this and that, and then you wonder if they have so many time. I wonder how they be able to make money to sustain a life like that. It's almost feel like it's a mystery because we know ninety five, ninety nine percent time indie film do not make money for filmmakers. It's More like a tool for us to find our voice and find our community in order to grow in this community.、Um, but sometimes I actually realize that to other people, other filmmaker, I'm the same.、Um, they do not know、um, I have a day job or what my day job is. All they see is me showing up. At the events, showing up to promote my film as if I have all the time in the world,、um, and sometimes because we don't see the hard side of things,、uh, and we don't see people's struggle, we kind of automatically fill in the information that if they can do this, they must have it all figured out. And、uh, I believe this is already a conversation. People saying a lot online nowadays,、um, but I still don't feel it's said enough because not even our environment gave us that kind of expectation. But even we gave us that kind of pressure. Like I don't know if you will, but I would tell myself if they can do it, 
I have to be able to do it too. <laughs> um, that's not very nice to myself. Um, that reminds me uh, a while ago, I saw um, a forum. People discuss about my film. And then there are people who actually think that I must be very rich. Um, and I do think I'm very privileged that I'm able to uh, travel across the world, um, be able to um, go to film school, and be able to uh, have people support me to be able to make this film, or else it's not going to be able to make even when I have the script. Um, but at the same time, the reality is that I um, have to work a day job to sustain my life and uh, a big portion of that money has been spent on the publicity of the film. Um, even that, I'm still privileged and I'm much, much more luckier than most of the people who doesn't even have the access to the computers, the internet, the education that I'm able to have. Um, but at the end of the day, everyone struggles in their own way. Um, and uh, everyone figure out a way to make things work for themselves if they really want to pursue certain things. Because um, we know there are lots of filmmakers do not have that much of access for them when they were younger. Especially back then, everything is shot on film. Not like right now. If you have a phone, you can make a movie. Um, a lot of uh, film festivals I have attended, they are already have so many selections that literally was shot on an iPhone. So <laughs> it's doable and it's hard and it's continuously going to be hard. That's my expectation uh, for this whole career. Um, but I think that's a good sign that we shouldn't constantly um, comparing ourselves and um, if we see people online doing great things we want to do it doesn't mean they all figured it out they might be still struggling or they might be suffering or burning out at the moment that we might not even know so that might be able to make you feel not alone uh, at least now I'm very into uh, see Q and A's or panels from successful filmmakers, and then they share about their struggles and how the negative side of the story, and then that's where I find the positivity for myself. Um, almost like, oh, they have been struggle or they are struggling right now, and. Um, if I am also feel tired, struggle, and trying to figure things out, it must mean that I'm doing something right. Um, that's always how I encourage myself. Anyway, <laughs> this video is not complaining about my work. I love everything I do. Um, but there are times I'm so tired that I don't want to do them. Um, I'm in the process of figuring out how to sustain all my work and at the same time get out of the burnout loop, which is uh, learn to have a different mindset and be able to manage my energy properly daily. And if you have any good suggestion, please let me know. And then I hope this is a sign to you that if you are struggling, you must be doing something right and just keep going and always in the process of figuring out how can you achieve all the things at the same time taking care of yourself. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, be patient, be present, stay creative. I'll see you next week. Bye.